I'm Sladen. I'm Nick. And tonight, we have the one, the only, Ambrose. Hello. Uh, What's up, yeah. Luke, you were one of the first people we ever met. <laughs> Yo, <Luke>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, basically, the first week was kind of, oh, you know, you have your door open and people just walk in and out, hey, I'm whoever, blah, blah, blah. And um, we were in there just playing some beats off of like YouTube or whatever and kind of writing. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I <laughs> remember. Yeah. 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 No, when you first walked in, I thought you were an RA and it was like, oh, okay, cool, I need this RA, whatever. But um, you, you pop in, you're like, you're like, hey, man, I'm Lou, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, and you just started freestyling. <laughs> Freestyle, and then you just left. Yeah, you can't. Like, you, that, you can't take right, that guy's place. Cool. That guy's cool as fuck. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yo, what was that kid's name? Bryson? Reggie? Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Yo, that fucking kid. Oh my god. That kid was a mystery, man. Yes. I remember he was we like... lived with him, he was. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you guys live with him. Holy yeah. shit. That's so funny. Do you remember his mansion parties? Uh, like never his, went to one. Yeah, yeah no, but, I never went to one either, but they existed apparently. Oh, yeah. no, I know exactly. They'd rent like Airbnbs, and they oh would almost always get God. shut down by cops. <laughs> because they would not get it checked with the neighbors or anything, or get like... I don't know, certificates for doing shows. And so the noise volumes and the amount of people that were going to them, they'd just be like, oh, cops are getting called. Yo. <laughs> oh my God, that's Jesus. hysterical. Yep. That's so so uh, how did y'all meet? Oh, Facebook, wow. mainly? Yeah. I believe the Belmont Facebook? Facebook page? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, was, it was us, th it was Ben, Luke, and me originally, right? We, um, me, uh, Ben, and Drew came well like we met through the belmont facebook page or whatever like who cares but um <laughs> oh god um so it's him, not you don't worry okay <laughs> right, cool so yeah we had we wanted to start a metal band like a metalcore band we're like we're gonna be heavy right and then like it was it was fun we wrote we wrote a little bit but then um dave and i were also i was in this metalcore outfit uh out of philly and dave and i were talking and dave lived really close to me i knew dave booked shows and we were like yeah we're trying to book a tour like you want to help out? And he's like, I'll get back to you. Like, three weeks later, kid's like, all right, we're doing it. And this kid books a tour with uh, our friend Christina in, like, two weeks. Like, an eight-date tour. It was it was sick. We went from, like, Philly, New Jersey, Virginia, where else? Did we, we went up to New York. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we played other places. So, uh, North they must Carolina. Not have important. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. But it was dope. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, it was just a good like, time. And then eventually we were like, yo, let's just start a band. And it started out as like a math rock, like twinkly little, like. The musical whatever. equivalent of soy, if you will. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> soy with time signatures. Soy with time signatures. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then we like eventually started to progress into more like prog rock, prog metal, math core. Yeah, that's okay, where we're at right sure. now. Yeah. Yeah, we're tough now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um my favorite song off of that album is probably Dharma. Um oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So yes. um like what what about y'all? What are some of your favorite songs that you've worked on? Uh, um yeah. yeah, I'll start out. I, my favorite also is Dharma. Uh there's just like the vibe of that song was like so different in my opinion than a lot of the other songs of the album. Either Dharma or Circle would probably mm -hmm. be my two favorites, but uh yeah, Dharma just, I don't know, it builds it on itself, on top of itself more yeah. and more. And then you yeah. get to the end, it's just like such a nice, like, sick beat. And then, I don't know, it, I think it just works so well. It does, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it next. Um, Johnson is probably my favorite, my personal favorite on the album. Um, just because, like, it just, it breathes a lot and reminds me of a lot of the music I had listened to growing up. Like, a lot of my dad's old prog rap albums, like Yes and Rush and, like, all that <laughs> stuff. I just had, like, that same kind of vibe but like it had our spin on it so yeah. i was just like holy crap like this is like this is exactly what i want to be doing right now like it's like it was amazing like when i was recording it i kind of had a moment i was like Shit, i'm doing awesome. it <laughs> i'm doing <laughs> it like but anyway yeah that, that was definitely um johnson's got a special place for me for sure yeah i love johnson too um i sort of came into this band playing a lot of classic rock and i, I wasn't as uh, progressive as these guys <laughs> But towards the end of the recording process of Adana, and Johnson is the last song, it was one of the uh, later songs that we recorded, I sort of came into a different element, and I love experimenting with it. And that's sort of like, for me, a, precur a precursor to um, this next material that we're going to release. Nice. Definitely. Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> I'd probably say my favorite is Dharma as well. However, I really like Pastime too. Oh yeah. I like the cool like neo soul vibe that it brings. Yeah. It's a lot diff- It's very different than the than the rest of the album. It's a, lo- a little less straightforward. Yeah. Um. Geez. Okay. Um. I guess Lance is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> Pastime, what? <laughs> <laughs> what man, it just changes a lot, you know. Uh, get, dude, I don't. Know. <laughs> this guy I, cannot. He can never decide on his stuff. It's I, like your children. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Like I don't know. Lance is cool. Pastime's cool. Like the new this new stuff that we're like writing right now is blows it out of the water. To be honest, so it's just not really here. But Lance, pastime probably Dharma's cool. Yeah, there you go. I'm glad you like our music, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> it really means a lot. Uh, that first track, it's uh, X U Z Z. Z. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's our dog's cool. name. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, at the beginning, I heard y'all have a sample of someone talking. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah. something y'all recorded? Or is no public actually? domain, baby. Public domain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, public Almost domain. every sample on that record is just like some random public domain sample. That oh, wow. Bro, I just went and sampled. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all yeah. 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 I went and found a playlist on YouTube of like public domain, or like all public domain projects, and that sample with a guy talking. Uh, I forget what verse it is, like a, a Bible quote from the Book of Peter. Oh, or something. okay. But uh, yeah, and we're not religious in any way. We just thought it really it sounded, sounded really good. cool. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Dave, I know you're an avid T fan, so... Oh, yeah. 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 here we go. All right. That's a big question. Um, T is great. It makes everyone feel better, even if you hate it. Uh, it's delicious, and it should always be drank the Chinese way. What's the Chinese the, way? Yeah, what is the Chinese way? Right. Right. I was trying to lead you into the question. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. You me soft Yeah, ones. exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, it's called Gung Fu Cha. It's, uh, it's, it means making tea with skill or precision in Chinese. And basically it's using a bunch of really small vessels to create small cups of tea that are just, like, perfect. And you're trying to get, like, the most correct lead brewed way. Okay. Yeah. It's an art form. It really is. Yeah. It's yeah. really, to just, like, sit in Dave's room at his little table, like, on the ground. He's it's just, awesome. like, making you tea. It's, like, it's, it's pretty dope. We just sit there and drink tea sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Really dope if you have like a sore throat or something. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. <Hey> Dave! <laughs> I need some. Tea time! Come on. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite blend of tea or anything like that? Oh, flavor? I would never blend tea. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 okay. okay, okay. Um, <laughs> my favorite type of tea is called puer. It's a ferment, it's like a fully fermented black tea. Um, it's really, really good for you. It's, uh, that's actually the reason why a lot of Chinese people are so skinny, even though mm. they drink so much greasy food. Because it, 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 no, it helps you digest, and um, oh, it breaks nice. down a lot of things in your stomach. As a band, obviously, y'all don't have a vocalist. Nah. You know, it's all instrumental. What made y'all decide to go that route, and are y'all entertaining vocals over things, or is that kind of like y'all's path? Right. So initially we like ever since like the idea came up we were like we were going to be an instrumental band. Yeah. Because oh, that's a lie. Is that we first started <gasps> Eric yeah. Bettina oh, was gonna yeah. be our vocalist. Yeah. I remember oh, that. I forgot about that is absolutely <laughs> yeah. correct. Oh yeah. And then I don't know what happened, but we were like we were like, uh, we're just we'll just play instrumental music. I guess that's just how we write. When I write at least I like to express myself through chords and like different um different voicings of chords stuff like that like you can you can add like a sharp 11 and have like a to a chord and have it like sound totally different and i don't it just like makes more sense yeah and having three guitars having a vocalist on top of that would get very busy oh. yeah. yeah it's yeah. already like hard enough when we're, at least when we're writing the music like he'll he'll come up with like a lot of the structure and like the the rhythm the chords and all that stuff and then me and Brock will usually like come up with our leads or you know whatever we need to do on top of that. Yeah. Um, and you every time you always just got to keep in mind that like at least if like I write before Brock does, there's gonna be another guitar on top of that. Yeah. Exactly. And so that could get so crowded and muddy so quick. Oh, whereas yeah, like yeah. you really just got to pay attention to that before it gets you know way too crowded. Yeah. So sure. a vocalist, I mean, I, I, I definitely think it could work in the future, but... Or even, like, a feature or something here and there, maybe. We've definitely bounced the idea around before, but, I mean... We're talking about a rapper yeah, originally. we talked about a rapper oh, yeah. that was going to be a Madonna, but it didn't... Oh, was this supposed to be on Pastime, too? Yeah, yeah it was going to be a yeah, Pastime. Wow. Yeah, a rapper on Pastime. But that didn't happen. 
I think it's definitely it. cool though, and it opens up different opportunities where we were listening to uh, Polyphia's. Yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, it's right. so good. Right. Um, it's dope. And I was saying that <clears throat> not having vocals on a song kind of allows it to portray the emotion of the actual sound yeah, rather than absolutely. mixing in all <clears throat> these words and other definitions and labels and stuff. That opens up opportunities to where you could get it placed in some other visual like a movie or right. whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've, definitely, we've so, definitely talked about going the sync route and yeah. trying to get into movies and video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. you get something placed, uh, oh, it's a lot of money. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude. That sure. would be dope. And, like, to kind of bounce off what you were saying, like, having, like, no vocals just kind of leaves a lot of, up for interpretation with the listener. Mm -hmm. And, like, we just hope that, like, everyone has their own, like, viewpoint of, like, exactly for what sure. they're thinking about sure. when they're listening to it, you know? Like, yeah, definitely. Because definitely. I feel like <clears throat> with someone that might not know as much about music... They might focus in more on the words or something like that. And it's almost yeah, a shame right. with some of the music that y'all are playing where it's so technical and like so many different pieces working together. Mm -hmm. And it, without having words, it kind of forces them to focus on everything that else that's going on. For so, sure. Yeah, For sure. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. We, yeah, we share the same viewpoint. In terms of coming to Nashville and the, it's like, Music city, but kind of country music city. Right. Although it's getting past that, yeah, thankfully. Yeah, definitely. Totally. What What do y'all think about the music scene and how it's changing? Dude, uh, I I absolutely love Nashville's music scene. Yeah. Coming from coming from the Philly South Jersey music scene, which is like a fairly toxic environment, people aren't. <laughs> yeah, Luke knows. I think it's it's really cool how how just all about the DIY culture so many people here are and there's so yeah. many house venues yeah. Oh, yeah. and there, like everyone's here to just try and grow together and everyone I feel like farther north at least from where, for where we're from is kind of just grow, use everyone to grow yourself kind of cut through it yeah mm -hmm. and that's exactly. just that's not how we are at all it's we're definitely all about the it's funny y'all say that um, I can't remember who else we had on that was from New Jersey that said the exact same thing but really uh, yeah they said the same thing and huh. it was just kind of like a I think, I think they specifically said a toxic music scene. Yeah, <laughs> so, I, there's some some yeah. shit goes down. Like not even yeah. at like literally outside of shows. Oh, it's all and on like, social it's, media. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's mm -hmm. disgusting. <clears throat> like chill, just go to your show, beat yeah. someone up, and like have fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's music. It, you're supposed to have fun. You're yeah, enjoying it. Exactly. It's not supposed to be so serious and mm -hmm. yeah. so full of yeah. animosity. Yeah, For sure. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous, man. It's really annoying. <laughs> if you were on an island, yo, and you only had one album to listen to, oh. there you go. That's the song. All right, I'll start off with this one. So there's this band called The Contortionists. They used to be like really heavy, but now they're going like towards like the ambient, like kind of like progressive rock style. Mm -hmm. And they released no, this no, album I'm to think. called um, Language. Uh, that was like 2014. And yeah. ever since that album came out, like it's my go-to album every day. Mm -hmm. It's the one thing that inspires me, makes me wake up in the morning, like. It's a perfect album through nice, and through, in my yeah. opinion. There you go. Sure. Luke Boy? Oh, I would go Viljarda, Thousands of Eagles, 100%. <laughs> that shit, oh my god. Like, if, you, if you like metal no. and you don't know who Viljarda is, stop watching this, pause the video, go listen to Thousands of Eagles, <laughs> come back, and then resume. They're sick, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah! <laughs> but no, dude, like, they're... Freaking brutal! They're absolutely insane. The Swedes do it right. Swedes, Swedes, Swedes do, do it right. right. It's fall it's weather, baby. You can it's Bill Josh. Bill Josh. I go ahead, yeah. David. Um, probably, probably born like this by MF Doom. Mm. Um, yeah. he's that man is perfect. Oh, yep. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yep. And that record is perfect. And yep. flows. If you know him, but you don't know that record. Definitely check it out. Pause and it's listen. Just, to it's awesome. Don't listen. <laughs> and we're back. You can watch. It. <laughs> Yeah, but it's it's just like the only one where he raps about the real world, and it's just hard as fuck. I'm all about it. It's good stuff. I definitely have to go with this album called uh, "Gently Disturbed" by this trio called the Abishai Cohen Trio. Mm -hmm. Abishai Cohen's the bassist, and uh, man, they were they changed their roster uh, a lot. Like the album had Shy Maestro and Mark Giuliano on piano and drums. Since, since then they're gone but that album 
like, really inspired me to, I don't know, practice in high school. Um, there's, like, two songs that I play constantly. I have to, I have to listen to either Pins and Kinsen or the ever-evolving etude, like, once every month. Just to keep my sanity. <laughs> <laughs> and that's great. It's, uh, it's, uh, how do you describe it? It's modern jazz, but there's a Hebrew, it's Arabic like, sort of... Huh. Feel to it. That's interesting. interesting. And Mark, you actually look Very, God very times. good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, Ben already said language. Language definitely is my number one album, too. Um, he knows. <laughs> that, yeah, I, I know. Um, I guess I gotta go with Baptist and Many, Animals as Leaders. Yo, if you yo. don't know who Animals as Leaders is, also, you know you know what to do, and then we're back. So, <laughs> <laughs> Tosin Abasi, best guitar player on the planet, bar none. Matt Garska, best drummer on the planet, bar none. Like, yeah, you if you go watch him and then like watch me, I'm nowhere near as fucking good as him. Don't get me wrong, but like, ev- everything that I have ever wanted to do on drums, like just just about he can he can do and has inspired me every single freaking day. And it mm. it hurts sometimes. <laughs> like, it really does. Yeah, it means but nice. like, please <laughs> go check them out if you don't know who they are. But so, yeah, that's it. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ambrose. Thanks, Thanks for guys. The show. Thank you all the shit. Us. You're watching two guys talking, and um, yeah, we got some stuff coming up, and Luke can tell you about it. We got uh, got an EP coming out this winter, followed by many other releases. We got a couple shows coming up. We're gonna be doing a Pop Goes Prog show here, where we basically we just take a whole bunch of prop songs and we Ambrose it up. It's gonna be fun. Hope to see you guys there. It's proggy AF. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to anyone who helped us work on our first album. Uh, you know who you are, especially Cleve and Mitch McLaughlin, like we mentioned earlier. Uh, everyone that helped us with the process made, you know, helped us make such an incredible album, and we're all very thankful for yes. all of the contributions True. and everything. And know. follow us on social media. Absolutely. Definitely Ambrose do that. Yes. Ambrose Keen or Ambrose?